In this video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between an ad group and a campaign in AdWords. And this is a question that comes from my mastermind. And actually a few people that have bought my course wanted a little bit of clarification between the two. So I'm hoping in this video to give all the clarification. So I'm in my AdWords. And if you go to all campaigns, you can see, and I can see all my campaigns right now. So these are all different campaigns. So just to let you know, uh, the quick version is campaigns are on the top. Within one campaign, there could be multiple ad groups. Every ad group has only one campaign. Every campaign can have multiple ad groups. So it goes campaign, ad groups, and then from there, each ad group can have multiple ads. So let me explain this a little bit more. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go into one of my campaigns. So this is a campaign I have, and it's called Bylar Dancewear. Within that, I have one ad group, and it's by Lar Dancer. That used to be our old name. So we still bid on that just to just in case people are searching for it. Within there, I've got a few different keywords. I can show you these because it's nothing special. Probably should hide some of the other stuff I have going on here. And we have multiple ads here. So within this one campaign, we have one ad word for this example. Let me see if I can find another one that I'm willing to share. I'll just go, I'll just go with bike tarts. Uh, bike tart colors. All right, so that's a good example. Bike tart colors, under bike tarts colors, I have 13 different ad groups. And so the one campaign, bike tart colors, has uh, these 13 different ad groups. And then what you can do on the campaign level, you can set a bunch of different things. You can set what locations you want to show it to. And that will mean, like, so if I were to say, I just want to show this to people in California, all these different ad groups underneath the category of campaign would only show to people in California. You can change all these different, you can change the devices, you can change the mobile bid adjustment. You can't do that on the ad group level. What you can do, so let's look at the ad group. Uh, okay, yeah, settings now. But I, I have two different ads. So these two different ads are under the uh, Aqua Bike Tards ad group. And I set my keywords under the ad group. So that's kind of the difference. Ad groups is, by, or campaigns is kind of the big general thing. It helps you organize stuff, but ad groups to me is where the real meat is. This is where you're putting your keywords. This is where you're putting your ads. And you want your ad groups and the keywords and the ads to be as tightly targeted as possible. And they want you want them to be correlated. So if, for instance, my Aqua Bike Tards, I have Aqua Bike Tards, Aqua Marine Bike Tard. Those are the two different keywords I have. And then if you go into ads, um, this one's more of just a test that I put up, but you see this one is actually the real one that I think will do better. And it says aqua bike tarts, 30% off. So that is like what I'm talking about here. When I say it needs to be really tightly correlated. So I have bike tarts as my main campaign under there is the ad group of aqua bike tarts. And then from there I have two different ads, aqua bike tarts. Uh, and you see, I have the keyword, right? I have the keyword aqua bike tarts is what I'm bidding on and Aqua Bike Tarts 30% off is right in my ad. So that is a brief overview. If there's still, if you still have any questions, if something doesn't make sense, please leave a question in the comments below. I do one of these Q and A every week. So if you have any questions about e-commerce, once again, please leave it in the comments below and I would be happy to help you out. Last, if you haven't already gotten my free e-commerce success pack, click up here. It, there'll be a little link that comes up. It's basically, it's got checklists for how to start your store, checklists for, maintaining and improving it, checklist for AdWords and marketing ideas, bunch of free stuff. All the free tools that I give away are in that. And all you have to do is click up there and you can get that. So if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching this.